In this video, I will walk you through a local business scraping project where the aim is to build a list of emails for gyms in Madrid, Spain. So here I am on Google Maps and I'm gonna go ahead and search for gyms in Madrid. And this will return the 120 most popular gyms in Madrid. 120 because that's the maximum number of results that uh, Google Maps will return for any search that you perform. Now, for each one of these businesses, I want to extract the information that is available here on uh, Google Maps. That includes their address, their opening hours, their website, and their phone number. Um, but I also want to find any business emails that they might have. Uh, and for that, I'm gonna be checking their website. Now, my goal is to automate this entire process. And for that, I'm gonna be using a tool called Phantom Buster. If you want to follow along, I'm gonna put a link to a free trial in the description below. Uh, click that link, sign up for your account, and uh, let's get started. So I'm gonna go to the solutions page here and I'm gonna search for the Google uh, Maps uh, flow here. I'm gonna be using this, which uh, allows me to both scrape the information for each business on Google Maps, right? So it will extract uh, this information here, uh, but it also has a website scraper attached to it, which means that this uh, tool will go on the business website and it will try to identify any uh, business emails that they have there. So uh, I'm going to click here to use this flow and the first step to configuring it is pasting the Google Maps search URL. So I'm gonna go back to my Google Maps. Uh, I have already performed the search, so um, this is important because this actually changes the search URL here. So once the search is performed, all I need to do is just copy that URL and paste it here. Uh, as you can see, the search keywords are there, the coordinates are there, all good. I'm gonna click save. I'm going to set this to 120, so this will uh, essentially extract all the results that Google Maps returns for my search. Uh, I'm going to save, and then I'm going to set up the website scraper. So this is where I select what uh, pieces of information I want to extract from the business website. So uh, on each business website, I want to look for an email address. I want to look for social media uh, page links. And I also want to look for phone numbers. Now, since we're in Madrid, I'm actually gonna change this to Spain, right? Because the goal is to, is to look for phone numbers that are formatted, um, th th that have Spain format, right? So um, that's an important um, option to select there. And then when I click save, I'm ready to go ahead and launch it. So uh, I'm actually gonna rename it to save. And then I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. Now this should take uh, a few minutes since we're only uh, scraping 120 businesses. Uh, but Phantom Buster is a cloud-based tool, so I can just leave it there. Uh, I can uh, close the page and uh, it will still do its thing. And once it's ready, I can come back here. I can click on the on the Phantom and I can see the results which will be listed here. So I'm just gonna pause the video, go do something else, and then I'll come back once uh, this is done. All right, so quick update. So uh, the Google Maps scraping has been completed. So all the information for each business that was available on Google Maps is now here. Uh, and it's currently going through um, the website scraping pro uh, process where it's trying to find um, the email address and any social media uh, page URLs that are available on, the on each business website. Uh, and you can see that the emails are now being populated here. Um, so yeah, everything is looking good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope this walkthrough was useful, uh, but if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna do my best to help you. And also if you have any suggestions for future uh, videos that you want me to create, uh, also let me know. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna see you on the next one.